Hi, I'm Carl from the Suffolk Latch Company and uh, part two of this uh, video is looking at front door ironmongery. Now the world of front door ironmongery is absolutely endless. If I had an entire lifetime, I probably couldn't cover 1% of it. But I thought I'd just give you a little bit of my insight, some of my experience and some of the things you perhaps need to look at when it comes to um, choosing front door ironmongery. Well, starting first with the letter plates. Um, people often call them letter boxes, but they're actually letter plates. And these screw onto the front of your door. Um, things to consider nowadays, we're, we're living in a world of e-commerce. We get a lot of stuff delivered for our front doors. This is quite a small plate here, so anything smaller than that's not going to go through. So you're going to get that annoying card through your door saying we're going to try and re-deliver or please go to your local post office. So I would say, I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty about 9 inch, you can get up to 10 and a half inch, 12 inch, 13 inch um, letter, letter plates. I'll go for the largest you can, your door can possibly handle. Um, going on from there, um, once that uh, letter plate has been chopped through your door, you can get a fairly nasty aperture on the inside. Uh, this thing here is very heavy indeed. It's an internal letter plate cover. Not sprung, purely works of its own weight. It's got two hinges here and, a, and three little rubber um, sort of stoppers. So as the thing closes back in place, you're not getting a rattle. Um, obviously with us, we're purely about black traditional um, iron mongery and all our door furniture is essentially cast iron. Cast iron is a, a great product. It, it will often initially slightly oxidise down you get that yellow finish but, it, but very quickly that uh, yellow finish goes to, to a dark um, oxide whereas if you use like mild steel it will continue to oxidise off. Um, so coming inside the door right now we've got these leather plates. Leather plates are designed if the door is like an open wood grain or it's painted and the idea is when you push the door closed you push onto this plate here which stops the dirty finger marks door handles again there are so many out there um euro profile our particular handles we stock i've got a what do you call it, 56 57 millimeter centers between the center of the keyhole and the mortise bar again as a, as a consideration when you buy your door handles make sure you match them up carefully with the centers and also there's another thing as well called back set and that's actually how far it is from the middle of the keyhole to the edge of the door. Ideally, you want the handle to sit um, central to the side corner of the door. Another thing to take into consideration is um, when dealing with front doors and rear doors, your insurance firm will absolutely insist you have a British standard five lever lock to cover your insurance. Um, another thing we do is these um, basic Yale style, um, type uh, night latches. Um, again, often these, often these are in, in bright brass. Again, it doesn't go match too well. The ones we have here have got a hard wearing black finish. Um, if you were to go and decide to go for the, the brass type, we have these covers here, which in effect, when you bring it up, you see the brass, but then it's then hidden away once it's closed. Again, keeping that black theme going. This one here also doubles as, as a door pull. Um, moving on to door pulls, we have this lovely very, very heavy, um, uh, solid uh, cast iron central door boss. And the idea of this is it will sit in the middle of your door and it's got quite a clever configuration here. This is what we call a tailor spindle. And this will be screwed onto the door face first, then the roast plate, not then turns on, and you then secure it in place with an Allen key at the back there. Again, nice feature. Again, there are so many out there, it's untrue. Um, and then you're moving on to things like door knockers. Uh, again, depending on the style of the area you are, you might be in a Victorian area, a Georgian area, and you want to try and match up nicely again. There are so many out there. We only offer two in the range. We offer this sort of ring door knocker, which comes with a separate striker, which is in the face of the door. Or we offer this one here, which looks that's a bit more like a, like a stapler. Again, the whole, the whole body is one piece. Again, these actually um, bolt all the way through, and you have two, two threads and two um, plastic caps on the top there to keep, keep it looking nice and smart. Um, moving on to security, again, keeping the black theme going. We've got this fairly heavy duty, actually very heavy duty um, uh, chain and uh, keeper here. Again, I must explain it, but obviously you have that on one side, that on the other side. You can open the door and make sure the person on the other side of the door is who they say they are going to be. Um, again, looking into other areas, um, door doorbells. Um, we quite often nowadays go for these ones with, with, with a small battery in some, again, they tend to fail after a while. Batteries doesn't last very long. This, this one here we supply has got a simple switch, two wires. Uh, all you require is uh, some bell wire, small transformer somewhere, and you get years of good use out of it. And then going further on from there, we've got um, 
these black cast iron studs and also these hand forged nails if you've got an old fashioned sort of uh, um, sort of legend brace sort of, uh, oak front door these would be great um, initially you lock them in what happens as you'll probably see from the, the previous video that especially on oak doors there is a reaction from the tannin in the oak um, to the um, iron and the steel or, or the cast iron and that will put streaks out in front of your door initially it's horrifying but as the years go by it's beautiful patina but like I say the world of ironmongering front doors is absolutely endless um, but it does require some research um, we, we're all quite keen to run out there and perhaps go to B&Q and, and find whatever's on offer on the shelf but obviously there's something you're going to live with for a very very long time and it's important to get it right to get it proportioned to the house the age of the house the street you're living in the history of the house and it's worthwhile spending a bit of time spending a little bit of money and getting and the right solution in place. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this, this video that uh, Joe's done for us, so he's part of his final project. And uh, if you have enjoyed it uh, and you like it, um, please give us a thumbs up and thank you for watching.